Bom dia! Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. This is my beautiful daughter, Jolie. Taihutu. Taihutu. You need to speak a little bit louder because we are filming with the DJI, oh, yeah. this new thing. So, And this is my daughter, Julie. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin blockchain and life of course really cool bitcoin charts one of the charts you will really like one chart is a really old one created in 2014 but now updated and you will see when we will reach 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin this year. Of course, also talking about the news that I read this morning the, during a delicious cup of coffee that was not prepared by Julie, but myself because I get up real early. Because this morning at six o'clock, I already did a radio show on national Dutch television. Yes, you don't know yet. Oh, no. uh, Veronica inside. I did a radio show about Bitcoin life and blockchain. And yes, we will end by talking about family because Jolie did something really, really, really awesome. And I love my daughter even more now that she did this really awesome thing. Enjoy the complete video, guys. Bam! No rest No, no I've been down so long Are you joining me? That my mind can't get no rest Are you joining me? No, no Are you look like me? This ain't Are you happy to darling? Cause the devil was on my trip all the hard work or school or yeah. I've been running so long Lose leader, leader, leader for us what? Can we try? Why? First of all, we never talked. We can try. Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. So you really want to try? To the beach. It's like two minute walk. But this mountain we gotta walk every single day. It's too much. Okay. You wanna practice driving? Okay, let's try. Oh yeah. Kill us, we die. You think you will die to kill us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put it in D because that's a good one. Not at all a white uh, corner, no. It's, uh, <laughs> you can try a little bit less uh, white. It's not well, like. There were no cars coming, so it's fine. Yeah, but it's not like a car of six meters wide. You're driving. Don't. Just in one of those places that is empty. Don't in the. Yeah. I'll try to put the middle, yeah. I'm going to check. I'm going to set. I'm going to, I'm going to check if it's in the middle. One second. <laughs> Yeah! Yep, it's perfect! Kids grow up so fast. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I Look! Really it's not completely week. in the middle, but it's okay. It's, if you come that side, it's in the middle. That side is in the middle. The other side is not in the middle. Let's walk the beach. Maybe I need to film with this arm. Yeah, that is better. Then we get both our faces in the screen. Let's start with the first part, guys. The part where I bomb you with Bitcoin. Part. Boop, boop, boop. The part where I bomb you, really cool Bitcoin jars, the Bitcoin TA part, this one, bam, like you can read on my t-shirt, huddle on my head, Bitcoin movement on her head, we are the Bitcoin family, bam, bam. The first chart, guys, this is a chart uh, where I explain how the situation is at the moment. Check this chart, bam, you don't need to do it every time. <laughs> on this chart, you can see there's a 15 minute chart that we reached 40k last evening. Congratulations all with the new all-time high in Bitcoin, 40,500 US dollar. On the chart, you can see that we tried it. Then we crashed, bam, to 37,000. And then we tried again to reach 40k and we reached 40k. But again, we came down to 38,000 US dollar. This is the level we are now, around 38,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Um, beautiful level, but what is next? Are we going to surpass 40k 
are we going to drop back to 30k keep watching this video and you will know bam it loses our face all the Do time I need to walk up the other side does that work a few, a few no you have to hold with that arm maybe i think they i don't think a dji can film two faces at once the question i am asking myself now and you should be asking yourself as well who the fuck is buying these dips normally bitcoin like pullbacks pulls back with like 40 percent from 40k to like 25k or something or 30k now only 3k who is buying these dips are the institutional investors that are buying the dip that are buying bitcoin this expensive or is it you there you are you buying the bitcoin dip i don't know we need to check this and i will come back to this in tomorrow's video because i'm going to analyze all the numbers because i want to know who is buying the dip on this chart guys you can see that the weekly spot volume is also doubled this chart bam on this chart you can see that the weekly spot volume has doubled the amount of bitcoin changing hands from me to her from her to another person is doubled we reached a 60 billion dollar change of hands in the last seven days the last all-time high was 30 billion us dollar in those seven days now 60 billion dollar change out of hand how many of these billion dollars is now in your hand are you not going to share how many bitcoins you own? Nope. Why not? Because that's my bitcoins. And nobody can know? Nope. Only you know. Only... And when a very handsome boy comes to you and says, Ah, oh, how many bitcoins do you have? Fuck off. Fuck off. No. Fuck <laughs> Yeah. It's better that he fucks off than fucks you. Okay. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Some people even think that Bitcoin won't crash till we reach 70 to 80K. So we will continue this bull run to 70 to 80,000 US dollar in July and then crash back to $40,000 or something. There are some traders that expect that move. And if you look back to yesterday's video on the chart, you can see that that chart was supporting this move. I explained yesterday that we could be copying to the 2017 bull run but if we are copying the 2013 bull run, just check yesterday's video again. If we are copying the 2013 bull run, then that could play out. Then we could go to 60, 70K, fall down to the 21 moving average, the yellow line around 40K, before we go to the BAM 280, 80K bull run at the end of this year. Plan B, stop to flow model. <laughs> we can go to 288,000 US dollars. 288,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. <laughs> That's true. I think that would make us a millionaire. Yeah. yeah when we go to 288,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, I think we would be millionaires as the Bitcoin family. And now everybody is thinking, how much Bitcoin does he have? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. We just live a normal life and we share as much as possible with poor people all over the world or, of course, I save a little bit for my beautiful daughter if she never finds a man that will work and make money for her. He doesn't come in if he makes money, by the way. You don't come in if you make money. You only come in when you make... Bitcoin. 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 Which brings me, guys, to one of the most interesting charts of the last decade. That sounded really cool, huh? Decade. Maybe we can walk a little bit more there because the sound hmm, of the waves some people love it they get like zen and some people hate it because they can't understand us so we go into the middle this chart is the most coolest chart i have ever seen since i am in bitcoin it was created in 2014 and it's now updated by the charts btc t uh, twitter uh, guy guy yeah I, I don't know his name he's like anonymous and he updated the chart check the chart this one bam on this chart guys you can see that this chart was created in 2014. It exactly predicted that in 2017, we would reach 10,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. This same chart is predicting that we will reach 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin on the 16th of July this year. It is saying that we would go times 10 from the last 10,000 US dollar to 100,000 US dollar 
in 1332 days. That's in three years, seven months and 24 days. So the chart already in 2014 said, in that many days, we will see 100,000 US dollar. If you look to the chart and you look to the left, you can also see that the prediction from the previous high to the 10K was completely correct. The question now is, is this chart again correct? Are we going to see this 100,000 US dollar in July this year? And is this chart again being correct? And if this time it's going to be correct, then look to the right on the chart and see that we can go way, way, way higher than 100,000 US dollar in the future between now and 2024. Really cool chart. I love this chart. I've been tweeting this chart already since 2016. Um, really cool chart to keep watching and keep updating. Thanks, Charts BTC, for updating this chart so that we can now share it again with the rest of the community. Um, yes, you also put in now the stock to flow model. So yes, we can see that the top of this band could be around 288,000 US dollar in Bitcoins after we reach the first goal of 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So let's take a look at the BAM charts. Are you already trading? Not yet. Not yet. Why not? Because I gave you a course. You still have to teach me. I still need to teach you a little bit more, but you can also do the course I gave you the login from, from Crypto Crew University. She was thinking that, how can I make more Bitcoins? So the question was, that I want to make more Bitcoins because, you know, I want to go, when I'm 16, I want to go and do a cool trip with my friends to Ibiza or Mallorca if there is no lockdown. And um, so how can I make more Bitcoins? So I told her, maybe if you learn to trade, that is one option. And of course, she's the lucky one because she gets a Didi Bam Bam indicator for free because she's my daughter. But there was another thing that we talked about, but I will keep that till the end of the video. But that is really cool how now she decided to start to make some more Bitcoins. Let's take a look at the Bam Bam chart, because the Bam Bam chart could teach her when to buy and when to sell the Bitcoins when she's trading and multiply her Bitcoins by this. This is how we traded yesterday. Bam! Traded with 1% of the Bitcoin price, which was 350 US dollar. Like a few weeks ago, it was only 200 US dollar. Now it's 350 US dollar. And we traded with a leverage of 10. We traded on the Bybit exchange, yes, because I always need to use the trailing stop loss because I'm too busy with filming and doing all that other stuff. I still trade on Prime XD as well, also on Dudex, guys. They all offer really cool bonuses. Sign up using our referral links. Bybit, $90 bonus. Dudex, $300 bonus. And Prime XBT, a 50% deposit bonus if you sign up using our referral links. So do they need to use our referral links? Yeah. How do you say this? Huh? Yes, you should. You should. Bam! Below the video, sign up using that referral link because we share the profits with... Poor people. All over the world. All over the world. I hope you didn't say that with a question mark in your face. No. Because you know that we do this. Yeah, I know. Okay. She knows everything. Duh. She is blonde, but she still knows a lot. That's... That's... What? That's discrimination? Yes. Why? Not all blonde women Two are... blonde women. No, blonde women are beautiful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not all dumb. No, not all. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's take a look at the BAM chart, guys. And did I already say BAM for yeah, the chart? Yeah, you did. Oh, we said already BAM for the chart. First trade was a long. It was a 7% long times the leverage of 10 is 70%, which brought the moment, which brought 350 US dollar into 595 US dollar. That's almost doubling with the first trade. Then we had a short, a short of I think 80% or something, which created a beautiful amount of 1100 US dollar. I need to tell you something about this short, but I will do it now after I say the third trade, because the third trade again was a long with 27% profit, which created a beautiful amount of 1400 US dollar. Julie, yeah. do you realize that we started with 350 US dollar? And out of the 350 US dollar, with three trades, we created 1400 US dollar. How much profit is that? A lot. Ah, that's too simple. Is it more than thousand dollars? Yeah. How much profit is that? It is still morning, Dad. That's that's why I said blocks. 
plants are? Smart. <laughs> 1,400 minus 350 is 1,050 US dollar profit just by three trades. Yes, I will cut this out because I don't want you to see to look stupid on camera. <laughs> <laughs> or I will leave it in <laughs> and it is really morning because I woke her up and it's like hey you're not gonna walk with me oh dad I am still sleeping so she needs to dress up very fast wear the Bitcoin movement hat and now we are walking the beach so forgive my beautiful daughter for not being smart in the mornings she is very smart you will see this in the end of the video about that short I want to show you something that happened yesterday because one of the team members um, you all know, know him as James in the discord JPFG I think He's drawing up most of my charts. He's my partner in everything I do with the Bam Bam Indicator. And I couldn't do all this without him. So thank you very much, James, for everything you do. I almost speak more to James than I speak to my family at the moment because it's really busy with the beef fat and all that stuff. But yesterday I tweeted to him, or I texted to him, James, wow, there's a short flag. That could be a really cool short. It was around 40K. And he was like, yeah, Didi, maybe it will drop to 30, 37,500 US so you could enter a short around 38,800 and short it with a little bit of risk and then you know, take profit or a trailing stop loss around 37,500 US dollar and then just run for the profit. So I did it. At 38,800 US dollar, I entered the short and it went and Bitcoin started to drop. And then I put in a trailing stop loss. So we were stopped out with an 80% profit on that short. That's a really cool trade. So you can see that we really discussed the trades um, with James and with all the other people in Bit, with all the other people in our Discord server. Really cool trade. Thanks, James, for the profit. Bam! Let's turn around. Cool camera. Mm -hmm. Feels a little bit strange, but still, it is really light. Um, guys, that were all the charts for today. Let's jump into the blockchain news part, the part where I tell talk to you about what I read in the news this morning. This part. Oh. Bam! She's still sleeping. Good morning. Bom dia. Good morning. How, how do you say it in Indonesian? Uh, Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Do we have any other language? Uh, we Buenos have... dias. And the French is. Bon, 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 bon journée. No, that no. heavy travels. Bon, un petit peu, bon, uh, petit, but, uh, bonjour. Hello, bonjour is hello. Bonsoir. No, that's good night. Bon, we don't know. Comment down below how you say in French. Good morning. The first item, guys, that I read was about Ethereum because the Google statistics show an all-time high in search for Ethereum. So a shitload of people now is Googling for Ethereum because they all think that Ethereum is going to grow as well. Didn't break the previous all-time high yes in Ethereum, which is around 1400 US dollar. We still need to break it. So a lot of people are Googling, should we buy Ethereum? Do we need to buy Ethereum? Um, yes, I already told you a month ago that you should have bought Ethereum. Now, still possibility to make some profit but okay, you know, you, Ethereum has started to run as well. Litecoin, on the other hand, still needs to make the biggest run because Litecoin needs to go to 360 US dollar to break the previous all-time high. So a lot of upwards movement possible for Litecoin. I'm adding a little bit more Litecoin to my portfolio because they're also outcoming with a lot of cool news in the next couple of months. Now, this is going to be real cool news item. Jolie. Yeah. Do you know all the currencies of the world? Of like, do you know a lot of currencies in the no. world? And um, do you know the euro? Yes. Okay. Do you know the dollar? Yeah. Do you know that there is a Chinese yen? Yeah. And do you know? No, there is a Chinese yuan. I think it's pronounced yuan. And there is a Japanese yen. I think. Also money. So these are all huge currencies. To be honest, those are the four biggest currencies of the world. Which currency do you think is the fifth biggest currency of the world? Oh my god. Uh, you need to talk a little bit more loud. I don't know, I'm thinking. So we have the euro, the dollar, yeah. the Chinese yuan, the Japanese yen, I think it is. Yeah. If I'm 
pronouncing it wrong, correct me. And then the fifth currency, the fifth biggest currency of the world. Do I know it? Yes, you definitely know it, but I don't think you would expect it. From Thailand? No, not from Thailand. Is it? It is one we, we really love. Bitcoin. 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 That was a difficult question because normal people don't realize that Bitcoin at the moment is the fifth biggest currency of the world. It is bigger than 170 other currencies. That is how big Bitcoin already has become. There is a total 1.95 trillion US dollar on the world, number one. The number two, which one do you think is number two? I think Euro. Yes, the number two is Euro with 1.4 trillion Euro available in the world. And then the number three, do you think, do you know which one is number three? I think first China. China, yes, with 1.26 trillion dollar worth of Chinese money is there on the world. And then on the number four is, of course, Japan. Japan. In Netherlands zeggen we Japan. Japan. Japan uh, has a total 1.1 trillion US dollar worth of Japanese yen, yen available in the world. And then on the number five, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And at the moment, there is about 725 billion US dollar worth of Bitcoin. When will we see a one? trillion US dollar worth of Bitcoin. We need to increase a little bit in price, but in my opinion, this is going to happen somewhere in the future, because if we double from 40K to 80K, we would have a 1.4 trillion US dollar value of Bitcoin, which would then take us to the second place next to the Euro. So that is huge. Do you think we can do this? Yeah. Do you think Bitcoin can become the biggest currency of the world? Um, maybe in a few years. I think as well. We could become the biggest one in the world. We could surpass the dollar. We only need to reach a market gap of 2 trillion US dollar worth of Bitcoin. That shouldn't be that difficult. No, of course not. No! Buy Bitcoin! Buy Bitcoin! Buy Bitcoin! That was the news for today, guys. Um, let's jump into the family part, the part where we talk about the family, our family, but also you out there, the huge Bitcoin family. Let's jump into that part. Bam! First things first in the family part, guys. The market cap of the family token is growing tremendously. Oh my God, retarded. Tremendously. We are now at a 173,000 US dollar market cap of family tokens. We are growing. I think we will surpass 200k very soon. Even the value of the family token is growing as well. We have a new all-time high. One family is worth 26 dollar cents. That is a new all-time high. We started with 10 dollar cents like a couple of months ago. We already almost tripled into 26 dollar cents per family. So all the people that are providing liquidity are now very brightly smiling like this hey! because their families increase tremendously in value and yes they can exchange them on uniswap to ethereum to us dollar Tether, to red bitcoin or to other any other currency that is supported by uniswap that is really cool news for the family even better news that i want to talk about is this one here i am so proud on jody and i'm going to tell you now why because one we she wanted to make some more bitcoins so she told me how can i do it so we started the project we started to create an idea what was the idea to make a female bitcoin hoodie to make a female bitcoin hoodie because she was like that in the shop you only have like hmm, a few female shirts but not like cool female hoodie so i told her the easiest way to become an entrepreneur and make money online, leading by example, is by creating idea, making a concept out of it, and sell it without you to need to invest too much time. So we were talking on the beach, the concept was created, the idea was created on the beach, we are going to make a female hoodie, we went at home to the laptop, then you googled some designs, 
we, we found a really cool design. We took that design to the website Fiverr, where there's a lot of people that develop your design into a real logo that you can print on a hoodie. Did we find an artist that wanted to do it for us? Yeah. Yes, it was a really cool one from India, I think. Uh, they asked a little bit money for the design, I think three to four dollars or something like this. Um, and they created the design. Now we are going to use that design to print it on a hoodie that we are going to sell in our store. And then she has learned how to create Bitcoins out of an idea. The, the hoodies and everything will be sent to you guys by dropshipping. So she doesn't need to do anything. She just made up an idea. We hire someone to create the logo. Then we paste the logo on the hoodie and then we sell the hoodie. The only step we are now missing is um, marketing. Marketing, yes, we need to sell the hoodie. So she's going to wear it, of course, in our videos with the hope that you're going to buy it. But we want to ask Miss Teen Crypto, because you're a really good friend of us, Miss Teen Crypto, can we send you a hoodie designed by Jolie? And can you wear it in your TikToks, Twitter posts, and all that stuff? Because I've been supporting you as well, Miss Teen Crypto. Can you give some love back to another teenager that wants to do something in crypto? Comment down below, Miss Team Crypto. Share this video, guys, on Twitter and everything, and tag Miss Team Crypto because she needs to wear the hoodie that Julie created for the Bitcoin women out there. Is that cool? Yeah. That's cool. Is that a wise lesson? That is how I try to teach my kids to be an entrepreneur and to make online money so she becomes a digital nomad like us, like we are. But now, the biggest moment. You need to drum laugh now. <laughs> yeah, you will never be a beatboxer. <laughs> Siri is even better than beatboxer. I can. Baboom, baboom, badam, badoom. Ba what Siri always saying? Yeah, he, was... uh, he has something like that. Yeah. But this is the coolest thing. Please tell them the story that you did with your money last week. Uh, well. I had some money laying around, <laughs> cash, because of birthdays and babysitting. And then I thought with dad <laughs> to put it in Bitcoin. And we did. <laughs> and we did. She was like, Dad, I have still some cash for my birthday. And with the, she does babysit here on a Russian kid. French Russian. French Russian kid. And then she gets paid in cash because they don't have Bitcoins. And she was like, I'm going to do it in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is growing. So we bought Bitcoin around 25,000 US dollar. And you bought, I think, in total around 500 US dollar worth of Bitcoin. That 500 dollar worth of Bitcoin is now 750 dollar worth of Bitcoin because Bitcoin increased. Do you understand now the power of Bitcoin? Yeah. Do you understand now why I've been paying your allowance always in Bitcoin? Mm -hmm. If I would have paid your allowance in US dollar, let's say I would have paid you $100 in March 2020. Well, it would be gone right now. <laughs> Probably would be gone. <laughs> but if you would have saved it, it would still be $100 now. Yeah, I know. If I would have paid you $100 in March 2020 in Bitcoins, Bitcoin was still around 3,000 US dollars at that point, then that would now buy, be times 10. That would be now $1,000 worth of savings. That is the power of Bitcoin. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to give your kids allowance that will stay the same amount? Or do you want to give your kids an allowance that will increase in value? That is how you lead by example. That is how we at least do it and how we try to lead the example. We are not telling you to do this the same way, but you know, we are just showing an alternative way of saving for your children. And I think she's happy with it. Yes. What are you going to buy with it? Um, don't know yet. Cool. <laughs> I even added some Ethereum to her portfolio oh, yeah. because she had $100 last week again from the babysitting. And uh, yeah, we bought Ethereum. Very cheap as well. Julie, is there something else you want to tell the people? Um, no. Are you still enjoying life here with us? Yeah. Oh, it's getting, are you getting cold. It's getting cold. That's, that's the only problem, huh? But it, it should be getting warmer next week. We had a very cold and rainy and cloudy week. Uh, but they tell me in Portugal now here that like 14, 15 degrees from Monday. So it should warm up again and we should be able to work uh, around with flip-flops and drink Bacardi Coke on the beach bar 
If not, would you prefer to go to a ski area or would you prefer to go to the sun? Hmm. That's a hard question. Yeah, it's difficult, eh? Yeah, we can't figure out as a family. No. It's like, we will see. Maybe we will drive with the car to a ski area, do some skiing and then drive back and then fly to the sun or maybe we will stay longer in Portugal because we kind of like Portugal and I still didn't discover like 95% of the country I only discovered the Algarve which is a very small part so there's a lot of adventures to live still here in Portugal that was everything for today guys I hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this very long video again because I talk too much then please give, I, it, a thumbs give it a thumbs up, up. <laughs> share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as we love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching today, and I want to remind you to always zoom out in Bitcoin, and always to zoom in on life. Because you need to try to enjoy every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life is about. Thank you for watching again, and hopefully see you, oh wait, tonight, there is another episode going live of Gokstein Media. I completely forgot. Tonight it's Friday. It's Friday already. It's Friday. The days fly. There will be another live episode of the Bitcoin family without Bitcoin charts, without blockchain information. How we probably celebrated New Year and all that stuff will be in this episode tonight on Gokstein Media. And, and again, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again from a different location here in Portugal. Bye. Bye.